In recent years, few companies have seen a rise quite as meteoric as NVIDIA. As AI technology rapidly advances, it has largely been NVIDIA's specially designed chips that have been powering those developments. Even though Tesla has made their own proprietary Dojo chips to train their self-driving systems, they still are a major customer of NVIDIA for their AI data centers. Few car companies have been able to genuinely compete with Tesla so far when it comes to autonomous driving, but another American car company has just announced a major deal with NVIDIA that could shake things up. Rivian is the latest EV maker to partner with NVIDIA, and the company has promised the arrival of their own hands-free driving system sometime this year. Rivian has been shaping up to become an even bigger player in the EV market, and today we're going to break down their upcoming products and the way that their partnership with NVIDIA will shape up, so let's get into it. Since they entered the market back in 2021, Rivian has so far produced two vehicles, with two more slated for arrival in the next few years. Currently, their lineup consists of their R1T pickup truck and their R1S SUV. Those vehicles are both very well made and have been moderately successful, although Rivian has had troubles on its path to profitability thus far. In the last couple weeks, Rivian announced a major refresh of those vehicles, and while that will bring a ton of improvements and new features, the real standout for many has been their new NVIDIA integration. The next generation of R1 vehicles will integrate dual NVIDIA Drive Orin processors, which will be used in their Autonomy Computer Module. Those chips will be used to power their current driver assistance features, as well as a new premium version of that system. Currently, Rivian's driver assistance systems are nice, but pretty basic overall. They include a lot of features that you see on most modern vehicles like lane keeping assist, automatic high beams, forward collision warning, as well as a few smarter systems like automatic steering on select highways, adaptive cruise control, and assisted lane change. These features are nice enough to have, but don't offer anything really unique, especially when you compare it to what Tesla has been working on with FSD. Rivian clearly took notice of that gap and is working to close it, at least to a degree. We don't have all the details on what exactly will come in this premium version, but Rivian has said that it will enable hands-free driving for periods of time. They do reiterate that drivers will need to fully pay attention to the road at all times, so it seems that Rivian is quite clear that it's starting with level two autonomy, but are reportedly aiming for up to level three. If Rivian can effectively integrate the power offered by these new chipsets, then their cars will be extremely prepared for autonomous driving as their software catches up. The latest refresh has added an additional exterior camera, bringing the total up to 11, which have also seen a great boost in resolution, frame rate, color quality, and low light performance. On top of that, Rivian includes 12 ultrasonic sensors, and they have just upgraded their five built-in imaging radars for both wider and more accurate detection. These vehicles are truly kitted out for autonomy, but so far the software and computing hardware just haven't been on par. This is a lot of sensor information, especially compared to Tesla, who only has nine cameras in their cars. They also removed radar sensors and ultrasonic sensors from their vehicles. Even with less sensors available on each vehicle, Tesla's AI-based software and chips are what has allowed their FSD software to flourish. Some would even argue that less sensors actually makes this possible. Rivians, by comparison, have a ton of additional data that, if properly leveraged, could make these cars some of the best on the road for autonomous driving, if you go with that argument as well. It all really just depends on how well the automaker can integrate the NVIDIA hardware. Proper AI training requires a lot of energy and resources, which may be too big of an investment for a company who has already been struggling with profitability on their cars, although that could soon be changing. As it stands currently, Rivian loses around $36,000 on every vehicle that they deliver. The automaker has set a goal towards turning that gross margin slightly positive by sometime in Q4 of this year, which is a really huge turnaround to strive for. Rivian has been doing a lot to improve efficiency in their pipeline by retooling their factories, but the company recognized that more cuts would have to be made. Beyond just the chip integration, Rivian is making a ton of changes to these vehicles that should reduce costs while not sacrificing the driver experience. Rivian's vehicles have always been known for their high standard of quality, and fans should rest easy knowing that this next generation won't have to sacrifice those standards in order to cut costs. Instead, Rivian is focused on streamlining the production process and underlying systems so that these vehicles can be made using fewer resources and simpler production processes. On the outside, the new R1T and R1S vehicles look essentially the same, but beneath the surface is where most of these new updates have taken place. First, let's start with the battery. The structure of the large and max packs have been completely changed with, quote, redesigned modules and more efficient packaging, making them easier to manufacture and service while offering up to an estimated 420 miles of range. These nickel-based batteries will be made using a new high-pressure die casting system that will not only make this battery thousands of dollars cheaper, but also increase structural integrity by consolidating parts. 
In addition, the company has introduced a new standard pack design that will integrate LFP battery cells for the first time. LFP battery cells have a lower energy density than other battery chemistries, but they make up for it by being much cheaper to produce, and can be fully charged every time without causing battery degradation. That battery is expected to get up to 270 miles of EPA range, which isn't too much to write home about, especially in a truck, but given the benefits of full charging, this should be fine for a lot of people's daily driving. Last year, Rivian announced that they were going to start making their own in-house motors as a way to save money and boost production. Those motors were only available on select dual motor trims for a while, but that will change with this recent refresh. Now their internally made drivetrains, inverters, and gearboxes will appear in their updated tri and quad motor configurations. Not only will these motors help the company to save money on manufacturing, but they will also give these cars a huge boost to their performance. The quad motor configuration will now output 1,025 horsepower, 1,000 198 pound-feet of torque and hit a staggering 2.5 seconds 0 to 60. That puts it just slightly ahead of the top trim of the Cybertruck at 2.6 seconds. At the base level, Rivian is also completely reinventing their underlying vehicle architecture. In previous versions of their R1 vehicles, they relied on a domain network systems architecture. This spread out their 17 electronic control units all throughout the vehicle. This method was never intended to be their lasting solution, and now that they are more established, Rivian is ready to make a change. The automaker has instead switched over to a new zonal architecture system, similar to what Tesla uses. By using their own internally designed ECU units, Rivian has pared the number required down from 17 to just 7 and removed 1.6 miles worth of internal wiring. This new approach should not only cut thousands of dollars in production costs, but should also improve software performance and make over-the-air updates roll out even smoother. While those are some of the major ways that Rivian is trying to cut costs on these vehicles, that's not all that these vehicles have to offer. In fact, these trucks are going to receive a number of improvements that increase driver comfort, convenience, and vehicle performance. Those new NVIDIA chips will do more than just power Rivian's upcoming autonomous features. That extra computing power will also be used to improve the infotainment user interface. Rivian's UI is already powered by the Unreal game engine, but this latest update adds a new illustrated style to the screen. The company is well known for their more whimsical, adventure-themed branding, and this new update adds a really cool new visual dimension to that. It looks really nice, and I'm excited to see more of it. In addition to the new UI updates, the car will be getting a lot of new entertainment options. Much like Tesla, Rivian has purposely not included Apple CarPlay or Android Auto in their vehicles, and while this frustrates some, they are making up for it with their latest software integrations. The automaker recently announced a partnership with Google that would allow drivers to easily cast content using Google Cast, as well as better YouTube integration in their vehicles. On the Apple side, they are working closely with the tech giant to build in deep integration of their Apple Music software. That feature will pair nicely with Rivian's new included Dolby Atmos speaker setup that will take their audio systems to the next level. Additionally, on the software side, Rivian is rolling out an alternative to their digital keys that they've had so far. You will now be able to add an official key to your phone's wallet as opposed to just using the Rivian app. We've talked a lot about how this new vehicle will save Rivian money, but in addition to that, it should also save the owner money through some big efficiency increases. One of the biggest requests that customers have had for a while was for the inclusion of a heat pump into these vehicles. Current R1 vehicles use a resistance heating system that passes electricity through a metal coil to produce heat. That method of heat generation was pretty inefficient and led to a lot of excess energy drain during cold weather, even when the car wasn't in use. A few years ago, Tesla introduced heat pumps to all of their vehicles, and that innovative design was significantly more efficient than before. Since then, people have been asking for this feature to appear on Rivian's vehicles, and now it is finally being introduced to the R1 lineup. This heat pump should do a lot to improve the range and charging efficiency of these vehicles in cold weather. To further boost range, Rivian has just unveiled a new design of their 22-inch aerodynamic wheels. Improved aerodynamics on wheels can do a lot to decrease drag on these vehicles, and therefore increase range. We don't have exact figures on how much this will impact vehicle efficiency, but wheel aerodynamics can have a surprisingly big impact on the vehicle's range. Better wheel design means that over time, this can save you a lot in energy usage. In addition, these vehicles are receiving a new suspension system based around increased ride comfort. In their press release, Rivian said, quote, R1S ride and handling advancements are achieved through new air springs with recalibrated front and rear spring rates, new dampers, and a new hydraulic roll control system specifically optimized for R1S, similar to those found on supercars. The vehicle is now even more fun to drive with a more progressive and stable ride in all environments and increased passenger comfort in all rows. 
Some of the other new features include, quote, two entirely new premium interiors, new exterior paint and dark out trim options, new wheel and tire choices, a new electronically tinted glass roof, new in-cabin storage compartments, new interior lighting themes, new digital interfaces across every screen, including cell shading designs for our drive modes, and a new and much improved wireless phone charger. In addition to all of that, the front headlights and light bar have been updated to include RGB LEDs that create a reactive visual display while charging. While this refresh is going to do a lot to cut production costs for these vehicles, it is not going to bring down the cost for the consumer, at least for now. While Rivian is still working on reaching profitability, any production cost decreases will go simply towards reaching a positive net profit. The R1T will start at $69,900 before incentives, and the R1S will come in at $75,900. The new tri-motor models will cost $99,900 for the R1T and $105,900 for the R1S. That's a $1,000 increase over the previous version, but that does include the new max battery pack as a standard option now. As it stands right now, we don't have word on how much that new quad motor variant will cost. Ultimately, these improvements and upgrades have turned out to be pretty substantial and do a lot to improve these already great vehicles. Simultaneously, we know that Rivian is working on their next generation of more affordable vehicles, the R2 and R3. Many of the great cost-saving features that we have seen arrive on these first-generation vehicles will undoubtedly be expanded upon for these upcoming vehicles. On the battery side, for example, both the R2 and R3 will both feature only two battery trims, at least to start. They say on their website that the larger of the two trims will get over 300 miles of range, so we can expect these options to mirror the standard and large packs that we see on the R1. Those battery options can travel 270 miles and 330 miles respectively. These updated batteries will be built using their brand new 4695 battery cells that they say offers significant improvements in energy density and output. When you also consider that these vehicles will be smaller and lighter than the R1s, then that means Rivian could probably get away with installing fewer cells to hit that same range. When combined with their new battery pack manufacturing techniques, then this could lead to some real savings on these vehicles. Like this new generation of R1 vehicles, the R2 and R3 will also utilize Rivian's internally designed motors and drivetrain technology. Appearing in the single, dual, and tri-motor configurations, these motors will enable significant cost savings that should only increase as the company streamlines and increases efficiency in production. As I previously mentioned, those motors are also extremely high performing, with the quickest variant R2 able to hit 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds. Given the benefits to both efficiency and production cost that comes with their new zone-based architecture, it seems likely that this will also appear in their new vehicles. The R1 vehicles had to be redesigned in order to incorporate this new system architecture. Meanwhile, these new vehicles are being built from the ground up with this in mind. That will make system updates simpler to implement, and like with all software-based vehicles, that means your experience will be improved over time. During their unveil event, Rivian unveiled that these new vehicles will be on the cutting edge of their upcoming self-driving software. They mentioned that the R2 will have 11 dedicated cameras and 5 radar systems, although they don't mention anything about ultrasonic sensors. Like Tesla, they could start phasing out those ultrasonic sensors, at least on the more affordable vehicles first. Then they go on to describe their upcoming self-driving software that will eventually allow the driver to not even have to pay attention to the road. That would imply level 3 autonomy at least, although we don't have any insight into how long it will take them to achieve that. They will probably start with level 2 autonomy as a short-term goal, and then leveraging those integrated NVIDIA AI chips will allow them to advance rapidly. Tesla's approach is quite different than Rivian's here when it comes to self-driving, but if they want to catch up, then Rivian's partnership with NVIDIA will have to play a big part in making that happen. Rivian has been one of the most exciting EV manufacturers on the market for a while now, and the features coming on their current and upcoming vehicles only make them even better. Despite all of that, there is still a lot of concern over the long-term viability of the business itself. In their first years, they have been struggling with profitability, which has caused their stock price to fluctuate a lot. These upcoming affordable models were expected to give them a much needed boost, but those aren't expected to start production until early 2026. These imminent changes to their R1 lineup will do a lot to help Rivian get their financials further in order and on the path to profitability. Among all those changes and announcements, Rivian's partnership with NVIDIA has the biggest potential to shake up their place in the auto industry. Autonomous driving is likely going to be the future of personal transportation, and while many companies are pursuing the technology, Tesla's AI training systems have given them a huge lead in that sector. By using those same methods, Rivian could be moving towards becoming a real competitor in that space, but we'll have to wait and see. 
Essentially, as they start to roll out more affordable vehicles that put them more directly in competition with Tesla, then we could see their AI training initiatives grow rapidly. Only time will tell how this partnership pans out for the automaker, but soon we could see Rivian grow to become a true competitor to Tesla in the US. That's all for today, but in the meantime, if you're interested in the accessories you should buy for your R1T or R1S, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.